and welcome to my next video which is cooking another soup and I'm going to do a chicken noodle soup with all the family at home soups are really good for all of them at lunchtime and they're so quick and easy to make in a thermomix um, that is why I like doing these soups and obviously because we're cooking from scratch I can control all the ingredients and making sure they're nice healthy soups and not full of preservatives and get lots of vegetables into them as well for the children and I'm going to do chicken noodle because I've got some noodles as well so I thought that's a good idea to do something a bit different with noodles as opposed to having it as a dinner so that's what we're going to cook so if we look at my screen we can see cooking today in my week we have the chicken noodle soup so let's start cooking right removing that lid first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our onions which I I've uh, peeled and then quartered here. Put those in a little bit over because I had two whole onions, uh, one whole onion rather that was quite big, but that's fine. It doesn't matter if that's over. Okay, next we're going to put in um, a tablespoon of olive oil. Just get my measuring up here and tip that in. So just a little bit of oil there for the sauteing. And next, so we insert the measuring cup into the lid as we already have done. Place that on, press next. And we're just going to chop those up for five speeds. and we're just going to scrape those down ready to saute okay so push those down you can just see in there our onions nicely chopped up so I'm just pushing them down with the oil back into the mixing bowl at the bottom ready so we can saute the onions in the same bowl okay so let's get those off put the bowl back on the thermomix And next, oh, very strong. Um, actually, now putting into our carrots. So I've got my carrots chopped here. So I'm just going to put those in. And again, slightly over, but that was because my carrots were quite big. And celery stalks here. Again, slice them up. You can see I've just sliced those into pieces, putting those in as well. Again, slightly over, that's fine. So carrots were over as well. And then we're just going to put in that lid. And then gonna go for five minutes. If we look at the screen, you can see we're going for 120 um, degrees temperature, time of five minutes. Now you can just see here. We're going for a speed of 0.5. It's a really slow speed, just stirring it around while it's saute. And we've actually got the reverse blade on. So what will happen is we won't chop up those uh, carrots and celery. It will just stir and saute them as opposed to chopping them up as we have done in some other recipes. Okay, so that's just five minutes there. Okay, so we're now going to press next, take off that lid, okay, just push those down in, and if we just look here, just see how all our onions have gone nice and soft, and all the carrots and celery have all been sorted in there as well. Okay, good, so we're now going to add in our water to the soup. So, we want 1100 grams, as I mentioned, with our liquids, they're all converted by our recipe development team into grams, especially for the recipes. Okay, 
Okay, just slow up as we get near and watch we're not touching the mixing bowl. And next, so we're now going to add in one to two chicken stock cubes. So I'm going to put two in, so it's nice and chickeny. That's it. A teaspoon of dried basil. Which you have here. Sprinkle that in. And then a teaspoon of dried oregano. Next, two pinches of ground black pepper. And two dried bay leaves. There. And then we're going to zip, zip the measuring bowl cup into the mixing bowl lid. Call it measuring bowl because it's a combination of the measuring cup and the mixing bowl. And then we're going to just now cook that for eight minutes. If we look at the screen, bowl, because it's a combination of the measuring cup and the mixing bowl. And then we're going to just now cook that for eight minutes. If we look at the screen, for eight minutes, our bowl is currently sitting at 65 degrees, but we're going to take it round to that red line of 98 degrees while it's cooking. And then we're going to turn it again to 0.5 and we're still using that reverse blade there. So I'm just going to turn that round and set that off. Okay, and then if we look at these three dots here, we can see information while we're cooking. So we've got recipe detail, if we want to have a look and see, the recipe is easy, it's a 15 minute preparation, total time of 25 minutes to cook it with six portions. Gives you the ingredients, tells you the steps, so if I want to see what the next step is coming up, so the next step would be adding noodles and the chicken. It's very sensitive because it's touch screen. And then we've got the utensils we need, and then it says for hints and tricks and tips. Variations is equally delicious with shredded pork, so that's an option as well. And then down here we just have our nutrition, the calories, the very low calories, protein, carb, very high protein, and low fat, so that's good news. We can then take that back and continue. Similarly, we can cancel the recipe we're cooking if we want to, or we can hit the scales if we want to weigh something like... For example, if we want to cook chicken we're putting in, if we want to weigh that while we're doing this step cooking, we could do as well. Okay, just touch the screen to go back. And we'll just leave that simmering there as it starts to heat up. For well, eight minutes, our bowl is currently sitting at 65 degrees, but we're going to take it round to that red line of 98 degrees while it's cooking. And then we're going to turn it again to 0.5 and we're still using that reverse blade there. So I'm just going to turn that round and set that off. Okay, and then if we look at these three dots here, we can see information while we're cooking. So we've got recipe detail, if we want to have a look and see. The recipe is easy, it's a 15 minute preparation, total time of 25 minutes to cook it with six portions. Gives you the ingredients, tells you the steps, so if I want to see what the next step is coming up, so the next step would be adding noodles and the chicken. It's very sensitive because it's touch screen. And then we've got the utensils we need, and then it says for hints and tricks and tips, variations is equally delicious with shredded pork, so that's an option as well. And then down here we just have our nutrition, the calories, the very low calories, protein, carb, very high protein, and low fat, so that's good news. We can then take that back and continue. Similarly, we can cancel the recipe we're cooking if we want to, or we can hit the scales if we want to weigh something. Like, for example, we want to cook chicken we're putting in. If we want to weigh that while we're doing this step cooking, we could do as well. Okay, just touch the screen to go back. I will just leave that simmering there as it starts to heat up. Okay, and press next. So we're now going to add in our dried noodles. Water there. Okay, so I've just got some egg noodles, medium egg noodles I'm going to put in. Just 
open up a little bit. a little bit over that's fine and 300 grams of cooked chicken so I've got the cooked chicken which I've just um, diced up Let's put that in as well there we go and next so we're going to put the lid on now with this one because we have the dried noodles we're going to use the spatula through here just to stir it around. Now the spatula, next, is so it's 10 minutes cooking time, 98 uh, degrees, and we're just going to again go very gentle, speed of naught and a half on a reverse blade again, just stirring. Now the blade um, is designed with a spatula with this bit here, so that sits at the top of your lid, so therefore your blade won't touch your um, blades that are turning round. So we're just using that to help stir around just till we get those noodles a bit softer, turn it round and then we can take it out and put the measuring cup back in. So just give it a stir around, mixing up just so we get those noodles moving about within that liquid and softening up. Just turning around. Feel them softening up as we're moving about. Just have a little look. Yep, they're softening. Just do it for a little bit longer. So you can see on the ladle that we also have that little point at the front. I'll bring it out to the point that just shows me where the blade is with that point so I can see when I'm turning it around where the blade is when I'm moving it about good arm muscles here they look soft now just going to take that spatula out, put that cup back in, and then we'll just leave that to cook for the remaining eight minutes. Okay, so if we click next, just see it is necessary, discard bay leaves. Just take those out. In there. That's the noodle. Put the nose over there. Okay, and next, ladle into a warm bowls and serve. So I'm going to put it into here just to show you. Let's get those bits of one here and cut the lid. Out at the bottom there, stir around. There we go, so that could stir around. And there we have our chicken noodle soup. So a nice, very quick, easy one to do. Um, doesn't take long, as you can see, with uh, about 10 or so minutes um, prep and that, and then overall probably 25 minutes. But obviously, normally when I'm cooking, 
I won't be standing here with it, I'll be doing other things while that's doing that eight minutes and that 10 minutes cooking time. So it lets me get on with other jobs, which is why I like the Thermomix, because it saves me time and it's very quick. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that one and we'll be back um, another one. I'll just show you a served up in the bowl so you can see it a little bit closer. There we have our chicken noodle soup finished, served up into a bowl. As you see with that noodles, celery, carrots, chicken, so all very good and nutritious and no preservatives in there at all. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.